Hello, today I think we are going with Wondo Waddle. Personally, one of my preferred characters because of his consistency. When you can upgrade with two, it's so much easier to get artifacts and also just launch. Oh, we were taking this polywoggle. If it works, it's fine. If not, it's also fine. Usually, I take the tree in this situation, but not this time. So, as I was saying, Wonder Waddle is one of those very consistent characters because it's so much easier to get artifacts with him and to just get large mid game things. For example, an upgraded donkey is very nice uh, for the next couple of turns, like between level 3 and 4 maybe, because when it's upgraded, it's got double the HP obviously, and it also spawns better stuff. And it can be a nuisance. It's not the only thing either. No, that's un unfortunate. If he hadn't cast that spell. <laughs> Well, we're taking Mad Mim here, I suppose, and this little spell, yeah sure, try and find something. Oh, there's a Blind Mouse, we're taking it. Blind Mouse is a level 4 artifact, so early, very nice for us. And, well, I don't expect to win this one, but I am hopeful to get a level 3 very early. If it is an animal or Brave Princess perhaps, uh, Wretched Mummy is also nice, support works quite well. Although, uh, if we are going to be buying that uh, blind mouse next round, there probably won't be any level 3 support that could actually help him, will there? He's not good or evil. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Unicorn, really? Well, just my luck, I guess. We're buying uh, this guy, and I suppose an egg? The rest doesn't do anything. Should I really risk it with the egg? We are so weak and we are fighting Loki who tends to be exceedingly strong early game. I'd give it like 80% of the egg and dies. So no, I guess I'm just buying baby root. Better than nothing. Hmm, so far we are last place along with Horde Dragon. If you've seen my last video then you'd know how powerful Horde Dragon could potentially be. And he's really not out of, out of the running for such a dominating performance either. Well, obviously he's lost a round or more, so he can't do exactly the same thing, but the meaning is clear, right? He can still get a level 3 strong artifact like Sarcophagus, or um, Melon's Hat and Crystal Ball. Even just plus 10 health and damage could... Oh, really? This guy has a full board, and he even killed my Mim so that I can't upgrade Polywoggle. That's really unfortunate, we've had such bad luck this game so far, and the game's just started and we're about to die. Oh, I exaggerate a little bit. There's also nothing really worthwhile here, the pig will die and give money to my opponents, and the rest of it's really not worthwhile. What can I do here? I guess place Princess Peep here, hope they die first and then three sheep will benefit from the support. by fanning with that? It's awful. Suppose the pig will... Uh, I'm, I'm taking the pig because it's an animal. Hopefully give me a level 3 artifact. I need something. And I guess fanny because it's the strongest I can afford here. You know what? I, I'm taking it into account. The pig is probably dying, so I'm putting it up. And I'll put fanny up as well. Reduce the chance that Polywoggle is attacked before it can kill. We really need Polywoggle to upgrade. There are games where you can just, you know, you can make it without Polywoggle actually upgrading and just use it in the late game. But this is not one of those games. We are just desperate. If we lose one or more two or two more rounds, we're just on death stool. Yeah, like this. Seriously, eight damage so early. We got nothing. Okay, that's so necessary I can't even put it in words. Uh, hmm, I suppose, what else can I do here? There's no animals. Should I roll? I'll take good support because it's just strong, but... I suppose this thing isn't very helpful. Now it's more helpful. And then I can what, roll one, so take the Lonely Prince. It can turn into an animal if you see a princess. Hmm. And the 1010 is big. 
I suppose it's also just stronger than a 2-2 right now. That's fine, there's no animal here nor anything else that would be helpful. So far our luck has been about as bad as can be with the exception of Gingerbread Knight being the 4 cost that we got. It can really help us turn it around, I hope. The one bright spot in this otherwise very cloudy sky. Is it enough though? Okay, that attack was important. If the 6 damage went into a gingerbread knight, I would have been a little worse off. Still, I don't think I'd have lost right now. Finally, some views of my special ability. Do we go with Moonsong Horn or Summoning Portal? We don't have enough damage on our characters, that 6 of shields would matter. Summoning Portal is only ever good if you're going animals. And we have nothing at all for animals right now. Moonsong Horn it is. Should I take this XP? Just consider it... Yeah, I will. None of these is particularly helpful. Um, I guess we'll just leave it as is. Fighting against the fates. He is ranked relatively low at 6th six, place. And we have gotten a little stronger with the donkey. But I'm still not sure we can win this one because apart from Gingerbread Knight and maybe the donkey, there's literally nothing else. Everything is so weak. 7 5 and 8 5? Eh, 4 7 even worse. I don't think there's even a chance we lose this though. Well, I suppose with uh, Horn of Olympus and no support characters whatsoever, no wonder he's weak. His characters aren't doing much either. That was exceedingly necessary for us to have a chance this game. Getting 2 XP for 4. Very nice. Uh, Princess Peep, no, we didn't bake portals, so I don't think I want to lean animals. The Nutcracker. Do I believe in the Nutcracker? I am 2 XP ahead, everybody else is not even level 4 yet. I think there's a good chance it'll work. Should I? Yeah, why not? Hmm, there's a wizard and a Juliet here. Should we try Royals? There's no Miri or um, what's his name, Midas. So it's not impossible for Royals to work out. We also have two Royals in already. I think it's a good idea to at least try it. So we're taking this. Considering Wonderwall has a very easy time getting level 4 artifacts with blind mice, it's actually quite nice. Sure, I'll take it. Let's see how much we can advance our quest here. That's a mighty big tree. Okay, that's one. Hmm. I think it's a little unfortunate. That's two, that's nice. Okay, half quest, not bad. Definitely a good start. Take this, take that. And let's see if we can't get more. Here is Romeo. Very nice. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Perhaps I should even do that. Should I replace the donkey? I think so. Something like this, perhaps? Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Oh, 
Well, Runeston is perfectly fine, right? Yeah. If I get another donkey or pig, it's level 4. And we are definitely in the market for such. Hmm, level 5 instead of 4 from uh, Nutcracker is also a possibility. I hope not, but even if it is, we'll make do with it. What can we get at level 5 apart from Mimic that would even be relevant? Support for Royals basically doesn't exist. I mean, technically there's a mermaid, but no. Uh, what else? Helm of the Ugly Goosling, maybe? Nah. Wow. These are some rather large opponents. Okay, that was one for the quest. And... Yeah, just one. That's fine. Okay. Ah. Sad. We really lost. This guy had such strong characters, it's insane. Hmm, do I want a level 3? I'd much rather have a level 4 if one of those, honestly. And it's 4 gold. Same here. Yeah, not happening. Don't think so. Nope. I have no way to prop you. No use for you either. Hmm. Okay, Juliet's nice. But we have gotten no stronger. And it's just sad, honestly. I mean, we could have at least seen another gingerbread knight. Or another um, either prized pig, Trojan donkey. Either one would have given us a level 4, which is very nice. Another frog would also proc, giving us not only an artifact, but also just a bigger frog. As it stands, none of that is really that amazing. A spell to buff the attack of the wizard would be the most influential on our power right now. As is though, we'll just have to make do and try to survive. Level 5 means that if we lose by exactly one unupgraded character, we survive. Anything else, and it's just that. Hopefully we don't end up last. Hmm. He actually bought 3 XP to this guy. That's insane. Well, it's better to fight him now than next round when he's got level 6 stuff, and nobody else does. I mean, 2 XP is skip level, but 3 is... Oh wow, we definitely lost by 1. No, we didn't, somehow. It's a tie. Huh. Very close. And like I thought, we just have to mimic and hope. Crystal Ball is actually very nice now. Or map. Map is four levels now. I don't mind if I do. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's... wait, level 6 is very nice, actually. Never mind. I think that's right. Yes, it is. Thank you. Now, usually Singing Sword's amazing, but not at this position. Right now, Spear is exactly what we need. It makes us insanely stronger, to the point where it's absurd. We're also taking this Arthur here. It's time to say goodbye to this uh, very nice Switch. She has been a great help. I'm gonna sell one of them and then kill the other with this the end. Then lock for Juliet. We are level 6. I did it mostly for the HP, not for the XP. I know that it's a waste. But this way we are far more likely to survive one more hit, which will give us some breathing room, because we are close to making this a success. Double Spear. Just look at this. There's literally no way for us to lose. This is the difference one artifact can make. 
That was insane. Well, thanks for this. And here's Sky Castle if you want it. Uh, do we still want Sky Castle? Yeah, we can upgrade all sorts of... Yeah, it's nice. I guess we are getting rid of Moonsong Horn. It's very nice, but on the other hand... Well, what else? Wait, 8 gold. Instead of spells, let's get 8 gold. How about that? I mean, with that we could transfer to other uh, strategies, or we could just complete this one very quickly. On the other hand, no spells for wizard and good boy is a bit much, right? Uh, we can get spells later once we've actually established ourselves otherwise. Hmm. I mean, who could we even upgrade with Sky Castle? Romeo? Arthur? Uh, that's pretty much it, right? Maybe a sure shot or something? I'm not sure. Fool's Gold or Sky Castle? No, let's, let's take Sky Castle, I guess. Hmm. Okay, there's two that we want here. I'm selling one of these for this. It's gonna do more for us right now, but we'll buy the good boy next round. It's also better to just let it start rolling with the quest. Oh wait, I should put it first. I don't know if I managed to. No, I didn't. I wanted to put it first so it actually attacks, gets 14-14. Oh wow, that was really bad. Oh, come on! Such an annoyance, that strategy is... We're taking the good boy, we, I think we need to... It was all a dream. We can get Adam Morgan of Fae, which would be nice for us right now. We can get Feather, Double Feather is very nice. Uh, or else, who could we get? Muerte? Quite nice of good boy. It's just this guy's not gonna do much for us anymore. And I don't think with 5 gold or less we can achieve much either. So I think this is the best we can do. Grandmother for plus 5 plus 5 to all characters. I guess that's pretty much the best we can do. 5 5 on all characters is very nice. Okay, there's Knighthood. Knighthood on the... Uh, hmm, the good boy would be 9-9 nine, nine Knighthood. Fine. Knighthood is also very good with uh, plus 14, plus 14 from Spear Mimic. Because it's double that to all characters once he dies. Assuming he gets to attack. He's first, so he should. Now, this guy is going to do a much better job with the quest. With all the bonuses that we can heap on him. Assuming we don't lose instantly. Because we can. If they kill the wizard or the good boy uh, gets hit by, let's say, Medusa or something like that, then it's the end. Mm, that's already a big loss. We lost 14-14 of stats on everybody because the good boy was attacked first. And that 14-14 might make the difference between loss and what could have been a victory. No, I don't know that we're in that much trouble because the wizard survived. Yep, we won. Simply due to wizard with spear being insane. Really insane. Singing sword? Uh, I think instead of sky castle we're gonna take singing sword. I mean, we are fighting first place and uh, we might not have another round. As for in beginning stone, like, don't be silly. So yeah, this is... This is it. We are exceedingly large in terms of uh, attack on the front row right now. Assuming there are no surprises, meaning the good boy gets turned to stone or hex, or the wizard gets killed before it can do its stuff, we should have a good chance at surviving here because our artifacts are insane. The rest of the stuff, the draft isn't really very good. We have an unupgraded 10-8 Romeo. Or 10, 10 Arthur. I'd replace Arthur at least. I mean, Romeo has the potential to spawn a very strong um, Juliet. But Arthur is really not doing much. Plus 6, plus 6. That's not enough when you are one turn away, one loss away from utter defeat. I'd put a wizard in there. 
for example, so that we're not as dependent anymore on that one character, if I had another wizard, which I don't. Hmm. I mean, once again, losing the good boy to the first attack is unfortunate. That's exceedingly unfortunate. I don't think it's enough to guarantee our loss though, we're just that much bigger. Yep. Feels to me as though we've easily won. Not bad. Okay, we don't need level 5 artifact, we already have all the artifacts we could ask for. Mm, that's not very nice. Another Dromeo, sure. Do we want Echo Wood though? No, Good Boy doesn't have a uh, health, so... And I don't have space for it either. I'll just take this Romeo and move on. There's two Sure Shots. Do we want to try and make a big Sure Shot? Usually it wants to stand in uh, position 1 and guarantee that you'll have some fodder for the wizards, right? It attacks ranged so it doesn't die and so on. But I don't think this is the right time for it. We don't even have space for everything we want to pack in. Besides, the cost is prohibitive a bit. Now, if anything, I'd like to upgrade Romeo, maybe replace this with another good boy, and that's pretty much how it's gonna stay. Another Court Wizard. I don't need the artifact at all. And giving a 4... What, what, what would it be? 4-2? Yeah, 4-2. Of stats to one wizard is really not worthwhile. I'd rather have two normal wizards than one upgraded. Okay, here's Romeo. That's nice. I guess since we're fighting the dead, but he's level 6, I, otherwise I might have put uh, the Prince Arthur instead of the Nutcracker, right? But no, it seems silly. To risk death for 2-2. Uh, oh, it's this guy. Without his hero power, he literally does nothing. We could have done whatever we wanted. Right now we're strong but fragile. Eh, yeah, skip. Do we want to... no. 5-5 five five is fine, right? I mean, it could be better, could it? Not that much. Muerte would be nice for a um, good boy to happen twice, I guess. But it could be much worse too, so I don't think I'll meddle with the draft right now. I mean, with the hero power. Hmm, no, no, no. Give me a buff for good boy. That's not what we were looking for. Uh, it's 3 5, so there's a good chance for good boy. Nope. Second place would also be fine, but I'd like to see if this can work out. If we can win first place. If only we could find another good boy, I think we'd have a better chance. <coughs> Sorry. As so I was saying, if only we can find one more good boy, we can cascade this one's effect to the next. Uh, buffing this good boy so it actually gives us a bit more health and damage is also perfectly fine. Well, luckily we have a spare wizard. And the good boy was not the first target, making it much easier for us to get the kind of monstrous attack required to even compete at this level. Uh, that attack killed us. That's it. This stuff was too big. Anyway, we were close I suppose. I guess that's about as far as we can get with this draft. Honestly, the problem with uh, Royals is that they're so fragile and so dependent on a few particular characters, a problem that Slay compositions also possess. Good enough, second place, I'm not complaining. Thanks for watching, uh, you can like, comment or subscribe and I will see you next time.